For 22 years, Carl Blake has been a bus driver for Federal Hawking Schools. He says he's a good bus driver who enjoys his job. Younger children like that will make you laugh a lot of times. <laughs> mm -hmm. But Blake says the responsibility of driving a school bus is not... ...has two responsibilities. Uh, you've got to keep your eyes out in front, plus you've got 48 to 60 kids behind you that you've got to keep an eye on. And now all eyes are on school bus drivers. A recent report says 167 drivers in our state have drunk driving or drug abuse records. Now school superintendents like Carl Martin of Athens City Schools are beginning to wonder who's behind the wheel. I'm not aware that any have had DUIs in the past. Uh, that's not to say that some of them uh, may have had a DUI sometime in their, in their history. Martin says the state allows schools to see only the past three years of driver records. But despite these restrictions, Martin says his district is doing all right. In fact, we've had very good safety record. Uh, in fact, we just got an award from our insurance agency for, uh, for our safety record. Basically, in this area, I I'm not worried about it. It's a little different here just because it's kind of a small community. Everyone knows everyone rather than in a big city. Big cities like Columbus where police caught a bus driver with cocaine. Horror stories like that have all school administrators considering ways to improve safety. Certainly uh, raises my awareness uh, for the future and, and the things that we do and we'll, we'll certainly be uh, more diligent as uh, openings come and uh, we, uh, we hire bus drivers. According to Ohio law, a person convicted of drunk driving can drive a school bus just two years after the offense. 16 other states require a five-year wait. This and limited access to driver histories has workers at the Ohio Department of Education planning for reform. We're going to be meeting with the state registrar as well as the Department of Public Safety and Bureau of Motor Vehicles to see what information is available currently, how we can expand our data collection efforts and work with school districts to ensure that all school bus drivers are safe and transporting our children. That was Ohio Department of Education spokesman J.C. Benton. Superintendent Martin says more data will be helpful, but wants people to know that most drivers are good people. In general, given the number of bus routes, the number of buses uh, that's on the road, the number of miles they log, the training, uh, the dedication of the drivers, I, I certainly think that that's a, a small minority of uh, all the employees that are involved in school transportation. And Blake says school transportation is safe by design. A school bus is the safest thing that you can be in because the way it is built, the way the seats are built, built to protect what's inside. Uh, uh, the precious thing that there is. Reporting for WOUB's News Watch, I'm Karen Hopkins.